Rio. Sit. Good. Come on up. Good boy. Rusty, like a lot of big dogs, back up when they sit. And you just saw him do that now. It's not only a structural thing and then it turns into a habit. It's also how you trained it in the first place. Rusty's a rescue. And so we don't know how his early life was or how he was trained. But when a lot of people train their dog to sit, what they do is put the treat over their head and then push back. The dog looks up and they sit. Well, what happens when you push back, the dog is also backing up and they fold backwards on their, come here, sweetie. They fold backwards. What I want him to do is to keep his front feet still and bring his back up. So you have the front feet, you have the back feet. When you lure, the dog is keeping the back feet stable and backing up the front feet. What I need him to do for competition is to keep the front feet stable and tuck in his back in. So that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna train Rusty to sit on the platform. What I'll do is have his back end close to the end. So obviously we need to get him on the platform. Come here, sweetie. So we're just gonna walk across it first. Good boy. Ready? Come on. And I don't always lure dogs, but if they have an issue thinking something is scary, this just kind of takes that out of the equation. They don't even think about it. They're thinking about the food instead. Oh, look at you. Nice. So see how nice he walked across it now? Let's walk across a couple more times. Good boy. This will also prepare him for agility when we're ready to go. Oh, nice. Okay, now that I don't have to lure him anymore. So we're going to get him up. Sit. And he thinks he can't sit on the platform. So we're going to work on that. Come here, little man. Ready? I'll just keep the leash shorter. Sit. Good. We almost got it. Ready? Come on, honey. Sit. Okay, we're going to, we need you straight. Come on, little man. Ready? Here we go. There. So instead of working on not backing up right now, we obviously just have to work on getting on the platform. Nice job. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Yeah. So. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Come. Come on. So he's not even thinking about rocking back, tucking his butt or anything. Right now he just rocked back. Rock. Good boy. I just need him to get on the platform and sit. Good job. Come on. There. Okay. Now that he's more willing to get up on the platform and sit, now we're going to consider sitting straight. And as you saw, he planted his front feet and tucked up his butt. Um, normally they do it because they don't want to rock back and fall off. He's doing it because for some reason the platform isn't comfortable to, for him. So he just stops where he is and sits where he is. That's okay. I don't care why he does it. I just need him to station his front feet and bring his back end up to his front feet. Come on, little man. Go boy. Ready? Here we go. Come on. Nice. So that was a little bit of a rock back, but his front feet didn't move. Let's see if we can fix that some. Come on. Here we go. Oh, that was pretty. That was very nice. He's a little crooked. I don't care. That's not what I'm working on. I'm working on him not rocking back. So I only work on one element at a time. Come on. Ready? Here we go. Come on. Nice. That was very pretty. If I was standing straight, that would have been a perfect sit in the competition ring, but I was facing him. That was very pretty. You can also use this platform to work on straight. Um, there's a couple different tools you can use. You can use a little PVC rectangle where it's on the ground and they have to sit inside of it, or you can use the platform. Ready? Let's just do a couple more. Come on. Come on, baby. Nice. 
Come on. Good boy. That was very pretty where he tucked his butt. Good boy. Here we go. All right. Nice. Yeah, that one was ugly. Come on. Ready? Here we go. Come on. Good boy. 